So hello everybody and welcome to another Charticulator video. In today's Charticulator video we are going to create a radial line chart and um, it looks basically like the one we have behind me and we're going to use Charticulator which is a free tool developed by Microsoft. We are going to use a data set or a, a subset of the data set that I found here on Data World. I will link them below. And uh, yeah, it is basically weather of, this is the weather for the US in 2015. I'm going to give Aberdeen weather. So how about we get started? Okay, to get started, charticulator.com, click on launch. And then here we need to put our data set, which is Aberdeen weather for 2015. And it has a lot of columns, the station, the station name, latitude, longitude. We're not going to use all the parameters. I'll show you here. You see latitude, longitude, the temperatures, state, zip. We won't use everything to display this. But here's what we want to do. We want to represent the lines that you see in here. This is mean and max and the average. Okay, so we need to first create a plot, a, a data axis. So here we have one data axis and in this data axis we want to drop in the three parameters. So just drop them in. You don't have to drop them in a special place. Just put the average, the max, they will place themselves according to data on the mean. Okay. And now this is just the axis and say what parameters do we have in the axis? But we need to tell what should we represent? What what kind of element? Is it a circle? Is it a rectangular? What do we want? And for this type of chart, we actually have a line. That's why I call it really a line chart. I don't know if that's a proper name. So we need to create a line. Put it in there. And you know, you want You want to actually, these should be anchored. So the max should be anchored with the mean and the mean should be anchored with the mean. And then, you know, you know the drill, right? So this is what you will get. Um, now, we don't want to represent the data like that. So if you click in here, if you click here on plot segment, whatever you prefer, you will see here that it has a squared or a grid uh, layout. We don't want that. It makes no sense for this chart. We want to have actually a stack Y. So this will create basically like an X, Y. Now we have only one axis, which is a temperature. We haven't put anything, but this is using basically the, the date, right? Even if we haven't put it in, this is the date. And because make sure that you format it as date, otherwise you will, you will get random. So once we put the date here, so you will get like an X and Y. What we have now, remember, the, the element for this chart is a line, okay? When in other cases have been a rectangle, this is a line. So if we click on a line, we want to color these items by the temperature. So we're going to drop the average temperature here, stroke, and that is going to give us different colors. And we want to color that. We want to color that from blue, which is cold to red. So I think this is spectral or this one will, will do good. Maybe this one. Okay. Now you can see here, these are the January, February, March, and this is November, December, and this is the summer months. And you could actually display it like that. But because it's 360 days, you actually kind of think of circular, it actually makes sense and looks quite cool if you actually represent this with a circular, you know, this axis, which right now is straight to suddenly make it circular. You'll see the effect. If we just a scaffold, put it in there. How cool is that? So now you can see again, you see here the winter months and the, you know, the, the spring, the summer, the autumn, and it is kind of, you know, we humans think of, we you know, have categorized time in like 360 periods. So it just makes sense to make, to visualize it as a circle. So anything that is yearly, you could have here like 
max min prices of something or I don't know, stock data or whatever you want. It is quite a cool way to see data that you normally think as, as, a, as a circle. So another thing, I saw an example from the articulator they had put, I thought that was quite cool. They put the title in there. And let me, because we're not going to have a legend. Our legend is basically this. Uh, we could have a legend. I can show you how to put it. But they put the title in the middle. I thought it looked quite cool. Change the... Yeah, it looks quite... I thought it looked quite nice. Now, let me show you how to put the, the legend. Remember, our element for displaying this data is a line. So you have to find the line in here. And then here you will see the custom and then at legend and it will show us the uh, the legend in here so it is actually quite useful but as you can see it gives kind of the same information so maybe we should make this axis less prominent so here's the segment uh let me see if we can pick it here so here we have it it is actually not so intuitive to see what it is but it's in there so this is the line color, and this is the tick color. And that's basically how it looks. And then you can obviously, um, if you click in here, you can make it exaggerate the lines more or less, as you like. So now you can play as much as you want just to make the chart looks as you want. So. It is very, very easy to save. You just click on save and then you can save it as whatever and you can export it as an image HTML. It's a, as a template so you can reuse it or as a Power BI custom visual, which is also very, very useful. So curious, how have you used this type of chart? What do you use it for? And more importantly, what do you call it? <laughs> so, anyway, this is all for today. I will see you again in the next video. Until then, as always, take care. Bye-bye.